Hello and welcome back to Wingcraft. The last time we left off, we were in the middle of completing Yaya's quest. We went to get him some mushrooms and then he changed his mind and wanted brown mushrooms and told us that we just weren't good enough and we'd we'd got the wrong mushrooms. Well, we know the truth. Regardless, I did it. I got his mushroom, I got lost, and we ended that episode there. However, I found my way back. There's a pot on the floor. I found my way back to the wonderful Yaya's mushroom house. So hopefully... He'll take this mushroom and not tell us to go and get more. You again? Oh, you have the brown one. Yes, I do. Good. Mushrooms. Well, I I can't make any soup without my bowl. <laughs> you are good at what you do. Can you get me one bowl? I can, but I don't know where to get bowls from. Oh, yeah, yeah. Why can't you give us a better quest? Like, go and kill a spider. I can do that. I can kill all the spiders. Where do I get a bowl from? Is there going to be a bowl merchant? Oh, I thought he was dead. I bet there's going to be a bowl merchant somewhere. I'm going to have to look at the map again as well, aren't I? But I don't really want to do that. Maybe the junk salesman. Do you reckon it would class as junk? I mean, ideally, it's got to be fairly close by. Surely they wouldn't make it if you had to travel to the other side of the map to get it. Right, I'm going to risk running back through these zombies, and I am going to get to the junk man and see if he is selling me, going to sell me a bowl. I don't think we can make one. I'm pretty sure there's no crafting in this whatsoever, apart from combining the perks with different weapons or armor. But hey, I, I could be wrong. We'll find out. We'll find out. Speaking of zombies, though, <laughs> it's reminded me of a thing that I decided I was going to tell you. So I, I, I have a job now, <laughs> which I think I have mentioned before. And there's nothing... Oh, look at this loot. Free emeralds, leave me sp no spider, go away. And I basically, uh, I work in a, I work in a store, and we sell a lot of DIY stuff. And that's that's kind of the area I've been put on for the last week or two. And I found I found a bit of a game to uh, help the time pass and to. <laughs> I mean, it's a it's kind of menial work. It's it's a little bit tedious, but it's it's not bad. It's good. It's good. And they give me money for doing it, so I can't argue. But yeah, I've, whoa, what was that? Can we- we just flew, how do you fly? Was it that skeleton? The skeletons have some crazy knockback. Man, but yeah, I found a new game and my new game is to uh, walk around and find the best- I'd like to imagine uh, that all of a sudden there's a zombie apocalypse because they happen in an instant, in case you didn't know. I like to find the best weapon that I will use to- uh... Oh, he doesn't. To save me from the apocalypse, it's just my little game. So I thought I'd uh, tell you about it. I don't. I don't really know why. Now thinking about it, that was a bit of a weird story to to tell you about. Anyway, oh look, I found some lemon pants. We already have some. Somebody did give us some, but yeah, I found some more, which is a good day. They might sell for quite a bit. I need to get the map up because I have no idea where I'm gonna find a bowl. There's got to be a bowl shop somewhere. Hey, buddy, that's a cool. How do you get horses? Somebody tell me. There's a little little box just underneath this video, just for you. Yes, you. And you can type in it and press send, and then I receive it, and I can read it. Go and do that, and then and then write in it. Don't don't write these exact words. If somebody writes these exact words, then I'm probably going to do nothing but be severely disappointed. Where do I get a horse from? Is it is it like a donator only thing? Go go and tell me. Go and tell me in that thing. And whilst you're down there, there's a there's a little little button, a little thumbs button. Click the thumbs up. As well, that's some really shameless blogging. I'm gonna stop that now. Oh, actually, speaking of which, I, this this is gonna sound like a shameless plug, but it is honestly not. I didn't even realize you could do this. If you have your, uh, if you have the videos full screened, if you're uh, one of those full screen kind of guys or girls or things, you you can actually uh, still thumbs up without coming out of the full screen. If you look at the top top right, there's a, there's two little thumbs, so you can uh, dislike or like like videos. I'm not I'm not telling you to, unless of course you are you do want to, then I'm not gonna tell you not I'm gonna stop this uh, I'm gonna stop this sentence before I uh, make an idiot of myself. But basically, I don't even know that was there. It's pretty cool. Maybe we've got a bowl in the bank. There's a very high chance we have a bowl in the bank, because that's where I keep my bowls. I don't have a bowl in the bank. But what I do have is the power of the internet. I'm gonna go look at the map. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> 
Aha! I have found out! Who gave me speed? Somebody keeps giving me things. I don't want to be speedy. But I can put some stuff away and we can go and sell this stuff whilst we're here. But, if you remember the Ewok village, which we went to last time, there was a bowl salesman! And that's where we go to buy bowls, believe it or not. Who would have thought? I completely forgot about that place. It has been a day or two since I last recorded, so I'm allowed to forget. I wish I wish I had time to just play all day and just... Somebody let the iron buyer out? Are you crazy? Right, let's, let's sell some stuff that we don't need. What about these? Defense 22 on our boots. We have defense 7. So th those are much better. So we'll swap those out. Although these are unique, so we won't sell those. We'll uh, find out whether... Whether we want to... We'll identify them is what I'm trying to say, and then we'll see what happens. What about these toe ticklers? We'll identify... No. I feel like we have um, feather falling with these, though. I'll, I'll save them just in case. We'll sell this, we'll sell this, and this, and this, and this, and this. But we won't sell the lemon legs, so I'll keep the lemon legs. Alright, let's do this. Buy my spear. Buy my spear. Buy- thank you. And also, buy my shears. Buy them. Thank you for zero emeralds. You suck. What else? Buy this bow. One emerald. What can we sell that- we might actually get some money for these, let's see. Twelve, that's alright. Should we sell one of these? Let's sell the toe ticklers. Seven, that's the- I'm, I'm leaving, this isn't even worth it. Let's head back then. Because I think I know how to get there. Yeah, no, I do. No, I do. I just don't know the way out. The way out's this way. I remember this because of the arch. Oh, that's really awkward. The arch. This arch. If you go underneath the arch, you head back to uh, Ragni. And also Nivella Forest, which is where we want to go. So that's the way we are going. What a crazy, crazy thing. And then we can go to the Ewok village and we can buy ourselves a bowl. And we can do some wonderful things there. So... I don't know how many people watch more than one of my series. I'm going to assume that some of- oh look, free wool. I'm going to assume that some of you watch more than one series, but I'm going to assume that there is also some of you who don't watch both series. Both series? Two series. Or more than one series. I am coming to an end with my Captive Minecraft uh, series. Well, I, I'm not. That's a complete lie. I completely disregard everything I just said. I'm not coming to an end. I've still got a lot to do. But, it will end, eventually. And I'm going to need to get a different map going to replace it once I'm done. So now is your chance. This is your time. Oh, also, I did mention in that series as well, so you guys might not know, my anodyne save corrupted, and I've still got to fix that, but I don't know whether I will. I probably will, but who knows. Uh, and Bioshock, uh, Buried at Sea, um, I'm just not feeling it right now. We will finish that one day. I'll, f I'll get back in the mood to play it, but I'm, I'm, just not, I'm just not motivated to play it, so I'll end up being boring and it, it won't be any fun. So that's what's going on. So we're two series down, and I want to have some ideas ready for a replacement of another series. So that's three kind of series I want to fill up. I need adventure maps, or adventure servers if they exist, kind of like this thing. So this is your chance. If you are not watching the Captive Minecraft series because you're not interested in it, then this is your chance to go back to that little text box and let me know some maps that are worth looking at. They can be any kind of adventure maps, preferably single player. I, I will take co-op if you, if you want to give me those, but solely because I like to record them in my own time, and if I'm recording with somebody, I have to plan it all out, and that just gets a bit tricky. But this is your chance. This is your chance. If you enjoy the stuff I do, and you like watching this series, but you don't like Captive Minecraft, then you can give me some ideas of things you would like to see, and then maybe that way we can sort something out where you can enjoy another series of mine, which would be brilliant. I can entertain you twice. Twice? Four times a week? I don't know, my schedule's all over. I was really proud of that schedule. I was doing really well when I first started it, and I nailed it for like a week or two. And then and then I got bored of, bored of Bioshock, Anodyne broke, and I got a job. So <laughs> pretty much everything just turned into Captain Minecraft and Wingcraft, and then occasionally stuff in between. But there is, there is going to be a new series coming soon, I can tell you that for sure. I am working on that now. Actually, yeah. Do you know what? You guys can give me some more. Where is this bowl? Are you a bowl man? Can I do this? No, I can't. Are you a bowl man? You are the bowl man. Alright, I'm coming up. I don't have any emerald. Oh, I do. Okay, okay. Um, but yeah, I do- I need to know some games that you guys would be interested in me playing or at least trying. 
preferably, if it's at all possible, they would be full releases. I'd like to avoid alphas and such solely because of the premise of the series. I'm hoping to do first looks of games and a first look of an alpha is a bit silly because it's not even released yet. I, however, may consider covering some alpha games if people just want to know about them. Maybe, maybe, that, maybe that's the thing. If you'd like to see like a series where one emerald for one bowl, that's brilliant. I'm going to buy a couple just in case he lies to me. If you would like to see a, see a series where I kind of go over new games like alphas that are coming out as well and just kind of tell you what the game is rather than what I think of the game and how it plays and how good it is. That's kind of my idea for this series is that I'll be able to play a game for a little bit and then tell you what I think of it. But if it's an alpha, I can't turn around and say it's all right, but half the mechanics don't work and the graphics aren't even implemented yet because the game's far from finished. Same with betas. I'd like to avoid betas as well. But maybe I could kind of twist the series and also do... Uh, we could also do something where I do look at alphas. Things like The Forest, which is incredibly unfinished but so much fun i do I, I will be playing the forest regardless maybe on a stream maybe you'll get stream highlights but i will be playing it i just need to get the courage and time to actually <laughs> play that game because i'm scared of everything but things like that there is no way i could do a first impressions on it because it's not out yet to be impressed by it's been out in alpha for like seven days if that maybe five so i don't really want to do things like that i know i'm leaving by the way i am aware i'm doing that it's just this is the way i've figured I can get to Yaya without getting lost, so I'm doing it. So maybe that's something. So yeah, just, just pile me with lists of games that you'd want me to look at, cover, tell you about. If there's games that you're interested in getting that I might already have, put them down there because I've got a bunch of games that I could go over, but they're old games. So it wouldn't really it wouldn't really benefit many people because I assume they have them. But if a couple of you say, hey, I've never played, insert game title here, but I would like to see what it's all about then I might already have that game and I might be able to actually do that so yeah let's uh, just just go and type stuff over there uh, hey I didn't expect you to find it <laughs> um I still need you to bring me um spoons you want a spoon are you serious tweet my soup oh wait I already got some spoons oh well that's okay then I guess we won't get you spoons I guess I need to pay you now is two emeralds fine with you no, it cost me like 50 emeralds. Whoa, okay, I take that back. Two skill points available. We're now level 15. One more level till we get our heal upgrade. We've completed Mushroom Man. We've got 1,500 experience points, 128 emeralds, and one Yaya stained bowl. Wow, I don't know what that's going to do, but that's cool. Maybe we'll try and make some soup with it and see what that actually does, but that's awesome. And we got a ton of emeralds. Okay, that was worth it. I, th yeah, yeah, I'm sorry about the things I said about you. I mean, no, I didn't say anything about it. No, no, I'm just, I'm just joking. Let's see what's next. 14, 15, 15, one, I'm finished. So let's do creeper infiltration then, I guess. This is where we're going to start. Talk to Thomas in the Pikmin's Ravines at 606, 1431. Luckily, I do still have the map up, so... I can actually see where that is. So we could run there right now. How are we doing on time? We're doing okay for time. If I've worked this out correctly, we are about 16, 17 minutes in. So we've got time to go over, start the quest, see what's going on. Probably not complete it unless it's very simple, but I don't imagine it will be. But we can at least prep ourselves for next episode. And I can know whether I need to train a little bit because I can see on the map, they have the levels they suggest. I think it's that they suggest you are when you do it. Um, and it said Pigman's Ravines are level 15 territory, so hopefully we'll be able to hold our own. But if not, I'll go training, grinding, we'll stream, we'll stream some grinding because I like talking to you guys and I, I'm in love with streaming right now. I got, it's all I go on about and I feel quite in a bad. Don't you worry. I'm not, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not leaving this place. I, I like it here. I like making videos for you guys. This, this is what I do. But... I also really, really, really love streaming now as well. So that's just something that I'm going to be doing a lot of. But hey, it's like extra content because you get the videos. Then I also stream on top and then you get stream highlights. So sometimes you get like two videos a day. That's such a good day. Like some, not tomorrow, maybe the day after or the day after that. But you'll get more stream highlights. And actually, I think I'm going to have to break it into like 10 pieces because it was like a solid three hours of just 
hilarious times with Fizzy and oh, it was so much fun. You'll, you'll see it, you'll see it. But I might actually break into parts because highlights I don't really want to make longer than like an hour. So I may have to cut it down into episodes. But hey, look, that's like so much more free content for you guys. That's such a good day. You should all be excited. I don't know if this really is the way in, by the way. I'm just doing this because this is how I Minecraft. If I need to get somewhere, I climb. These, these are the ravines from what I can tell by the map. So all I can imagine is I have to go up. And then once I'm up there, I'll fall in. I don't really know, but I'm going to go up. I'm going to go up. Oh, look, we can do this. Oh, I can't because I'm trying to teleport for a block. Let's do this as well. What should we? What do we want to do? Let's get a defense and... Dodge damage. Brilliant. Happy. We're all happy today. I am rather happy today. Today has been quite a good day. Please. Please. What if I do that? Oh, I think it worked. No, it's not working, is it? <laughs> I'm trying to do spells, but it won't let me do it because apparently I'm too close to stuff. Can I make this jump? Yes is the answer to that. I, I, I'm probably, you're probably all real face palming right now because this probably isn't the way to get up and I've probably wasted all the time I had. I think we did like five minutes before I cut and I'm on 11 minutes now. So maybe I got the times wrong. Maybe now it's like 16 minutes. Who knows? We'll find out one day. One day we will know. Can I, am I getting pushed down here on purpose? Yes, I am. Okay. I'm not supposed to climb these mountains, I'm guessing. Well, how do I get in then? How do I get in to Pigman's Ravines? I can see Pig Valley on the map. I don't know if that's very helpful. I thought I was going to fall to my death. All right, let's try and go around this way. I really don't know how else to get in. I know you guys do. One of you does, and you're just not telling me. If we're on a stream, see, you could have told me by now. Maybe this is a gap. This kind of looks like a gap. Even though it's probably not, it's just that the world hasn't loaded. And in a minute, it's going to load in a giant mountain that covers up this area. You ready for it? You ready? You ready for it? It's going to happen. Oh, what's in there? There's like a cave. Dangerous area. Level 15 pigmen. Am I right in thinking they won't attack me? Nope, I'm wrong. See you later, pigmen. So this is the ravines, and there are a lot of these pigmans, and I'm going to die if I can't move faster. They hit really hard. Really, really hard. I'm now going to die. I will see you guys later. Oh, no, I'm not because... Oh, yes. We've got a bit of health. Get off me. Please stop it. I don't want to die. Am I safe in here? No, because these guys are still here. I just want to get somewhere safe so I can read my quest book and find out where to go. Have I skipped the pigmen? That would make me really happy if I've skipped the pigmen. Oh, nope. They're spawning everywhere. Let me through. No, no. I died. I died. I died. <sighs> Oh, that's not a good day. How do we even get in there then? I think I'm going to have to try and fight them off. We might have to grind a little bit and get some levels. That might have to be what we do. We were close though. We weren't far off. Let me see if I can see the coordinates on the map. No, no. Well, maybe I can, but not, not this level. Right. I'm going to head back over and see how far I can get. Check the time. See you in a sec. Bye. Okay, I've made it back. And these things are hard to kill. Well, they're not hard, but they take a lot. And luckily, I have a little bit of knockback, so it's okay. But we're also about 18 minutes in, so we're not going to be doing a hell of a lot more. But hopefully, we can actually get to the start point this time. Run, 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 run. I should really check my map. I think I'm going... Yeah, I'm going the wrong way. I can see the um, in-game map, actually. Not the in-game. Whoa, no! You... No, no. That did not just happen. Let's get some health. We might be able to fight this guy off, assuming no one is coming for us. If there's a load of them behind me, then I'm screwed, but we might be able to fight this guy off. How did you hit me from over there? Alright, so maybe if we just take this a bit slower, we can actually do this. Um, I'm going to do this as well, because this would be really handy. I think what would be better is if I got some better armor. Let's check the quest book quick. We want to go to minus 606, minus 600, minus 1400, and we are far. 
Minus 600, minus 1400. So we just got to keep following this. I can actually... S level 17. This is just getting worse. This is going to have to wait. I don't think we're going to be able to do this. Unless I do things like this. In which is just... A little bit dangerous and... Not really very entertaining. And very scary. Because I can't get out. I'm stuck on a thing. I'm stuck. I'm going to die. It's all over again. Unless I can nail it. It's fine. Don't know what you're worried about. I'm going to throw it on the floor and see what's in here. Oh yeah, this was worth it already. Look at all this stuff. Butter helmet. It, it's, it's gold though. But that's fine, we're still anyway in this. <gasps> Whoa, we can wear this right now. This might help us. This might be what we just... This, this is just what we needed. This is it. Unless it's not as good. That's much better. We haven't got a chest. We've got these legs, though. Level 18. Can't do anything of that. Uh, yeah, that's the best things that we've got. 23, 15, and... Uh, yeah, okay. Let's regenerate a little bit, because we might actually be able to make this. This might work. We aren't that far out. We're fairly far, but we're not that far. I can run past these guys. Oh, but I want this loot. Oh, but I want this loot. I want the loot. I was too greedy. That was a bad idea. Don't be greedy, guys. It's gonna kill me. Get up. Run. Run. St run. Stop getting caught on rocks. Drink your thing. Drink it. Okay, I drank it. I've gone the wrong way. I have to go back in. Okay, it's gonna be fine. Oh, that's what you get for being greedy. And I kind of wasted what was left. Whoa, no. So we should go through this way. Yeah, this will get us to minus 1400. And minus 660 should be out this way as well. So hopefully we can get there, start the quest, see what we've got to do. I thought there was a chest there for some reason. And then... We're going to be okay. Stay. Back. Back. No, I'm going through. I'm going through. It's fine. Yes, look at that. I nailed it. This is it. This must be it. This must be the place. This is the place of the place. The place where we want to be. With all the stuff. And all the goodies. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi, villager. Level five. What's in your box? One emerald. This is mine now. Give me this. He must be here. Minus 660 is... Over... Is it back? It's back this way. Oh. Oh, it's minus 606. That's... Uh, don't worry, don't worry. I figured it out. Don't, don't you guys... Calm it. And minus 14... Four, what, where are you going? Minus 606. I just ran past it again, didn't I? Thomas! Is it you? Have I got to speak to you, Thomas? Are you my new buddy? Yes, it is. Thomas, I'm here. I'm ready to save you. Or whatever it is you want. Go away. Want me to do. Let's see what he's got to say. Hey, you. I kind of need you over here. Can you help? I sure can, Thomas. I sure can. Oh. oh, really? Great. My name is Thomas. Not so long ago, I saw a creeper with my own eyes. A real one. I know it sounds impossible, but it happened. That sounds pretty scary. I've just realized there aren't any creepers in Wingcraft. My mind is blown. Nobody believes me and they all think I am sort of a crazy man. I need proof or something. This is why I need you. I am way too afraid to go out of the town again. Do you think you could find them? Probably. They have some sort of hideout somewhere in the Pigman's ravines. Come back to me when you find them. Creeper. Infiltration. Nice. Alright, Thomas. I'll do that for you. However, not only are we going to call that there, I'm going to need to go and grind a bunch of levels. So... I do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, you do know what to do by now. There's a little like button that makes me very happy every time you press it, and it lets me know that you're enjoying this series so you can uh, expect more and more from me if you are liking it. Also, if you would like to see more of me, then you can subscribe. You can find me on Twitter. Follow me on Twitch. You can find me, um, MySpace. No, nobody, nobody uses MySpace anymore. That's fine. Yeah. I'll see you next time.